guys <laughs> welcome back to another episode of embroidery hub and today we're gonna learn how to do applique using 3d puff foam now this is a good way to get that uh, puffed effect on your applique all right so i'm gonna show you exactly how to get this 3d effect on your applique and we're gonna do this using just one extra material which is craft foam the rest will be just like your regular applique you'll be using whatever fabric you want uh the applique to be all right, so I went ahead and I used one sheet of stabilizer and I'm going to do that in order to stitch my die line. Now that die line is going to help me when I'm cutting out my fabric in the shape of the applique. Now you can also use your embroidery software and go ahead and print out the actual size printout and that way you won't have to do any stitching. All right, so I have a machine on automatic manual because I want it to stop after it completes my die line. Now I'm going to the add option and I'm going to forward through the color stops in order to get my stem die line. And there it is. So I went ahead and I stitched my die line. Now I just got to cut it out. All right, so I went ahead and I cut out around the die line. Now the next step is to place the fabric on top of the backing. And we're going to use that temporary adhesive spray to make sure it stays in place. All right, so I'm going to spray the stem lightly with a little bit of adhesive. And I'm going to place the green fabric, which will be my stem fabric, on top. Make sure you're placing it flat and now you just have to cut around it all right so next up I'm going to spray my outline of the pumpkin and I'm going to lay my foam on top of it as I would with the fabric so as you can see we're just taking one extra step here we're gonna lay the foam on first, and then we're gonna lay the fabric on second. All right, so now we have our foam cut out with our backing in the back, and now our last step is to lay the fabric on top of the foam. So we're just gonna do the same thing, use some temporary adhesive on top of the foam. And make sure to lay your fabric down flat. So next I'm going to go ahead and hoop my apron using one sheet of tearaway. Alright, so I have a machine set to automatic manual and that's because it's going to stitch the die line first and then we're going to offset the frame and place the fabric on top. So let's go ahead and press start. All right, so now I'm gonna offset my frame in order to place my two pieces of fabric. Before I place them, I wanna spray them with temporary adhesive. So you wanna make sure they line up as much as possible and that you get it on there flat. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put the frame back. Don't forget to do that because you don't want to hit the hoop. And press start. All right, so here we have our finished product. And as you can see, we have this nice puffed out effect. And all we need to do is just take one extra step and of course you can also personalize it like we did on this apron we wrote happy thanksgiving or you can write your name you can write a uh, cute uh, thanksgiving say saying a seasonal phrase for the fall really anything you want to really make that apron your own 
I want to thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below and to subscribe to our channel. I also want to invite you to connect with us on our Facebook group where you can ask questions and share knowledge. You'll find the link to the group in the description below. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you back here next time.